here with Western Digital, and you're launching a whole new platform that's called My Cloud Home. Here it is. So who My are Cloud you? Home. I'm a Praveen Arvind. I'm a product manager from California, and I've been working with the team for the last two and a half years on this little bad boy here. So that's a uh, that's. Not just an external hard drive, this is kind of like a smart external hard drive that's Absolutely. Like, kind of like a NAS. We're calling it the personal cloud solution, and this is the true smart storage system available on the market now. It's, it works by itself. You don't need to use a computer, right? Nope, not at all. You plug it into power, you plug it into the ethernet, and you set a simple setup process using your mobile phone or your laptop, and that's it. You and store your USB files in here. Host. That is correct, USB 3.3. Any storage, any phone, anything? Any phone, anything, yeah. And so you uh, you have designed a whole platform, a UI that should be easy, right? If it's not easy, people are not going to back up. Exactly. So three percent of penetration for NAS in the consumer market. So three. we've really three percent. That's it. No one gets what a NAS is. No one really understands that you need it or what are the advantages. So we looked at it from a different perspective to say people understand cloud. People want a true cloud solution for the home. They may not know that they need that, but once you kind of bring to light how easy it is to use, how easy it is to store yourself stuff, how easy it is to access, then they really get it. The value of having all of your files, all of your um, content right there at your fingertips to be available for you in on your mobile and all your other platforms is really cool. So you can have a whole bunch of terabytes. What kind of terabytes are you talking about? You have a single dual bay. Correct. So this one about? starts at two, goes all the way up to eight, and the big boy here starts up to four and goes all the way up to 16. And you only sell them with hard disk. That is correct. You don't sell them empty. Correct. People are not going to put a Seagate in exactly. there. Exactly. Right? Well, not just that. Our take is that people may not really understand that this comes without a device and they have to go buy a hard drive, put it in, and kind of set it up. And we wanted that out of the box experience to be done in less than a minute. So we focused on having it ready. All you have to do is just plug it in, go to the, go to the URL, set up the device, and you're up and running. I don't want to try to get any secrets out of you, but I'm just going to say it could be a Realtek or Media uh, or uh, 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 Marvell or MediaTek CPU in there. It's kind of like an arm that can do stuff by itself. It can connect Correct. to Google Drive. It can connect to Dropbox. It can do all this stuff by itself, and it can it can be like your home cloud while you're traveling around the world. You access it, right? That is correct. So that means there's some brains in there. There are some brains in there. And there there's enough performance to do anything you want. Uh, mostly anything you want, absolutely. Any average end user, whatever they want, they can do on this device. Hence why we have two separate separations. We've got the personal cloud lines, and then we've got the MyCloud PR series for the more expert users, for the more advanced users that need an ass. So I'm, uh, I'm a little bit above average uh, user, I would say. Uh, so I, what I one thing I would want to do is to copy my files at full speed. Yep. Is that the thing? Because uh, there's always these USB hosts that are kind of slow. I don't know why. Even that is. Blue sometimes and they transfer at 20 megabytes per second. How right. fast are you? Um, it's around there. I do have to admit that it's not full, at full speed, but what you sacrifice in speed, you get in usability. So you might have noticed that when I did my demo, all of the photos and videos that I copied over were automatically showing up. So we do that kind of processing on the go. And what's nice is that while you start that copy process, you never have to stay within the UI. You can leave the UI, you can do whatever, come back, and it's done. So it's doing all of the hard work for you in the background while you get all of your data centralized. Do you have by any chance the phone you were using for the I demo? do. I actually do. So, so because the app is I'm gonna a big put this deal, down. Android and it iOS. It is. It is Android it's and iOS. Phone. No, it's not. But it's, it is available <laughs> on Android and iOS. And here's the application. And it's web-based too. So if you don't want to use the app, you can just go on the web. Correct. Even so, on the phone, right? Phone browser. Here's activity. Here is your standard files and folder view. Here's photo view. Which is nice because it, it organizes all of your content by day. It month, looks like and new year. photos. It looks very much like all of your kind of photo platforms. You can zoom in and out of your content. So here's the zooming in aspect of it, here's the zooming out aspect of it. Um, this gives you all of your content from your month all the way down to multiple years as well. So you can see how fast it loads. It's a really smooth and nice UI. Thank you. Do you host all the stuff on the mycloud.com service? It is, is, you host thumbnails. It is hosted all on the box. There's no hosting at all nope. on your stuff. It is cached on the client. It is all on the box. That's it. It's you never on any of our servers. You don't have a cache cloud? No. Something? Nope. It goes right from the device to the client. Can you Privacy is very important to us. Can you, uh, let's say my mom has this one. Can I sync them both? Not yet. Not at launch, place? but potentially maybe in the future. Uh, can I connect one to the other? No, no, no. no. They are standalone. They're kind of separate for now. 
you can have more than one at home, right? Absolutely. And you can, our, our hope is that you have more than one at home, but I think in the beginning, kind of when we're ramping up, you'll probably have one. And if you go in there and you, you check all the services kind of you have, you're having. Yes. Uh, so we have multiple different applications that are third-party applications. Uh, the social and cloud import is our own application. And it gives you access into all of the cloud services that we have that you can enable and start backing up to the device. Is that the same app that's already on the other MyCloud stuff? No, or this is brand new. New platform. New platform, new clients, new everything. But this app, as far as I understand, uh, it backs up your Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive, Box, and Facebook to your device. Directly, it's correct. It's not the other way. It's not the other way, no. You don't have that yet. We don't have that yet, yes. Because We're launching with just one way. We want to get all of your content into this device, then we deal with it all at once. Because what my dream is to really abuse Amazon Drive. <laughs> I just want to put all my stuff there because it's unlimited. Right. Not in the US anymore because some, right. too sure. many people are abusing that. Sure. But whenever somebody comes with a unlimited storage, I just want to... Everyone gravitates towards it. Yeah, no, it makes sense. I just want to put everything there. We unfortunately don't have the two-way yet, but who knows, maybe in the future. But there's a list, I think, on the internet with the, the number of startups and cloud services that closed down where people lost all their data. Correct. You can't just trust the cloud. Right, which is why you need a personal device. You need at home. a cloud at home. It's yeah. a huge deal. Absolutely. It is a big deal. All right, so that's going to be awesome. And uh, if if I buy Western Digital external drives, how much more expensive is to get one of those home ones that get this function? So this one starts at one seventy nine euro, so at two, two terabytes, two terabytes, at two terabytes, but and two terabytes this one, is like seventy nine less than seventy nine dollars, right? But it's the functionality and the feature set so and like the ability to do double exactly kind of yeah about a hundred dollar more or something, right? But you get a lot more value out of it. So you get an external drive, you store stuff in it, leave it at home, you can't get to it. You buy one of these guys, you have just that much storage and you have the ability to access it from anywhere on any device. So that that alone gives you that extra added value, so along with all the other services. I did one video at the at the Computex when Synology was showing all their stuff. They have lots of apps. Sure. Is that is there a chance you're gonna get more and more apps? Because how does this work? So this app store actually here ends up getting updated dynamically as we push new apps into the App Store. We're launching with these, we're actively talking to different partners and different uh, companies, so this this is gonna grow. Is there a chance it's an open API anybody can add Absolutely, we have a developer kit that you can work with. Uh, it should be on the mycloud.com website, so please go there. We love talking to third-party developers, so if you've got an app idea, please contact us and we'll give you the kit so you can start working on that app. What can the app do? Can it do everything? We Anything have the, people can think about it can, it can do? Um, I, I'd say the possibility is there. But we haven't gotten anything cool just yet. But you know, we'll, we're entertaining all ideas. Because it's great that you're doing something like that. Because I think Western Digital has a responsibility to do something about Absolutely. all this data that's being lost. Absolutely. All those people are losing all their pictures. Right. And it's such a th sad thing. Like Sven said, 80% uh, or no, 48%. You know, uh, don't back up. And one in three people lose their phone. And 70 people would do backups for automatic. So I think we definitely have, we owe a service to those people to help them back up. And we released three new products today. The MyCloud Home, the iExpand ba uh, uh, iExpand Base, sorry, and the 400 gig micro SD card. I think that's solving unique position problems for each of those end users. And later I can try to check the benchmarks and stuff for the yes. speed of that host port. Absolutely. Hopefully it's not, it's okay, speed? It's it's not bad. Any it's end not user bad. is not going to complain. If you're a power user and you know, you're used to blazing fast speeds, lightning cable and all those things. It's not like copying through your laptop. No. It's a little bit faster than that. And a little, little bit slower than that. A little right? bit faster than that. A little bit faster than that, little, I would say. Little bit well, a little bit slower than that. Sorry, you're right. Slower, a little yeah. bit slower than that. But essentially, it's kind of automatic. You engage with it on your phone, you start copying, and then you can go do whatever it is that you want, and then we'll let you know when it's done. So we made it really easy and simple to use. And this functionality, the, the other device you were you were showing before, basically you could have the this lightning cable. So basically it's a, like a automatic thing. You plug you your could. phone and it's charging every you could. time. But the convenience so it's like a charging is, too. Right, but we don't have that exact functionality where you plug it in and you back up. That's only for the iXpand base. Okay. But we want to make sure that we try and make it automated as possible, hence the auto backup feature in the app. I think I show this in the demo as well, but I'll go ahead and show you here. When you go into settings, you can toggle your auto backup on and you can also turn on uh, cellular uh, data as well as background uploading. And this gives you that automated feel of whatever you throw into your phone automatically get backed up into my cloud home. You don't even, even need to connect wherever it. Wherever you are. Wherever you are. Just it gets back yep. to your home. Open the application, look at the photos that are there, it'll see some, some stuff hasn't been backed up, and it'll automatically start backing up those things into the my cloud home. One thing I could imagine would be great is an easy way to connect another disk to here 
and make some copies. You know, when there's like a, a party, a wedding, sure. you want sure. to do hard, 10 copies? Yep. You want to plug have, them all in and do it? Plug one at a time, make We're some copies. We're not launching for with that just yet, but we are working on a lot of new cool features. And so maybe potentially in the future, you'll see it. Nice. So th this, this is a new, you're launching, and yep. you are going to s already available support this stuff. There's going to be firmware, there's going to be yes. software support, yes. there's going to be those apps, there's going to be, this Absolutely. is going to last. This is the next future, this is how we envision personal cloud to be, so we're going to put all of our dedicated resources on it, we're working on it, and uh, yeah, absolutely, continuous updates.